Most of us prefer to stay inside on days like today, but for some local skiers and snowboarders, the snow was ideal. Today was the last day of the Chester Bowl Winter Ski and Snowboard Program, but leaders are already looking towards the future. Northern News Now's Car Cop tells us what plans they have in store. On the snowy hills of Chester Bowl, celebrations were all around Sunday for their final day of their winter and ski program. Often our March closing day is short sleeves and sunny. Today it's blizzard conditions and tons of powder, so it should be a great day for closing. But inside the chalet, Chester Bowl leaders were looking to the future, celebrating the launch of the Growing Up Chester fundraising campaign to repair and replace the Tom Storm Chalet. It's a big project, adding a third level, expanding our footprint, totally renovating and gutting the inside of the building. So it's a $2.7 million project. The chalet is 53 years old and opens its doors to thousands each year. Unfortunately, Chester Bowl leaders say the building is in rough shape. We have new roof leaks almost every day. The building is pretty much falling apart. And in addition, it's just not big enough for the programming that we do. From thousands of skiers each winter to hundreds of campers every summer, memories are made year round, especially for Lauren Scar, who has been going to Chester since she was only 11 years old. Oh, there are so many memories here of playing Foursquare in the, one of the corners in summer camp um, or hiding out in the downstairs staff room during the winter season. From camper to camp counselor, SCAR has seen the Chester programs grow into what it is today. We have 60 some campers coming in every summer and we try and fit all of them in here on rainy days. And that's, that's a lot. It's a lot of it's like really sweaty bodies, it's gross. She and others like her are hoping to raise enough money by next year to keep the magic of Chester Bowl alive for years to come. We love this building, but it is an extreme state of disrepair. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. And growing up, Chester has already raised $530,000 in their quiet fundraising phase. In their public fundraising phase, they need to raise $820,000 more in order to apply for a federal grant, which will cover the rest of the cost.